Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a chit chat ish type of video. We're going to be testing out some new makeup. I have a little bit of PR and then makeup that I've purchased, even though I just decluttered. Literally, I already bought new makeup. If you haven't seen that video, I will have a link or a card up here. Click on that and watch that. But today we're just going to be having fun. I am gonna show you some new makeup and we're gonna get ready even though it is 7.48 at night. I'm going absolutely nowhere, but this is my time to film. I'll get into that later on in the video. So anyways, hi, my name is Karina. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe or consider subscribing. Stay along, tag along, and let's get ready. Grab your cafecito or your tea because it's already late at night. And let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So first things first, can we appreciate how gorgeous these nails are? I'm telling you guys, Marmalade is like the it place for press on nails. These are super cute. I believe these are called the Sahari or Kalahari, Kalahari nails. I'm not used to long nails anymore, you guys. So I don't know how long these will stay on, but they're so pretty and um, you guys need them. So anyways, let's start with skin, shall we? So a primer that I've been really into actually I rediscovered it ever since I cleaned out my makeup again this is why it's so good to just oh I just dropped that so good to clean out your makeup because you rediscover old makeup that you haven't used in a long time and I took out a lot you guys a lot I wish my mom was here so she could take some to Mexico but I'll just save some for her. And I don't have friends here in Texas, yay! So all the makeup is just gonna sit there for a while because it's all used. I didn't even mention what primer this is. It's the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. Sherbet? Sherbert. It's a dream in a jar, seriously. Of course, we're going to color correct, even though I am going absolutely nowhere anymore. I'm literally going to take off my makeup and hopefully, hopefully, if I don't finish filming too late, I can spend time with my husband. We have been doing this thing for a few months, actually for a while now, you know? When you become parents and you have such a little one at home, they take up so much of your time, okay? And we were just neglecting each other for a while. And we just noticed it, we caught on to it, we talked about it, and we we're like, you know what, we need to spend time with each other. Once the kids are in bed, that's me and my husband's time. Our show is Seinfeld, we love that, it's so hilarious, and it's just fun, you know, we usually have like a late night snack. My late night snack is peanut butter and jelly, oh, peanut butter and jelly with a glass of milk. I love it. Okay, so for today's foundation, I'm going to use the JCAT Skin Insurance Max Coverage Foundation, and I need a sponge, so one sec. This foundation is another one of those discoveries that I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't used this foundation in a long time. By the way, I am an affiliate with JCAT. I do have like a link, or not a link, but a coupon code that you guys can use, and it'll save you money off of the JCAT website. They have tons of good things. Their foundation is really good. Their concealer is amazing. Their entire Aquasurance collection is really, really good. Also, what do you guys think of this background? Do you like this view a little bit more? It's nighttime, so it's usually brighter when I film during the day, um, but Lincoln is currently sick. He just got sick. He woke up sick this morning, and then he has a lot of like mojito. <laughs> my poor baby so for concealer we are using this one which is from Kat Von D it is their new concealer and mine is in the shade medium 131 I've seen this all over and her foundation is really good I did declutter it, declutter it because it was too light and I didn't use it but her foundation is really really good it's just it looks good on me it just doesn't wear well on me but I love the coverage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And this concealer is so good. It's full coverage, but it looks so soft on the skin. And the best thing is that it doesn't really accentuate like your little arruguitas. 
Honestly, I do not feel like cream contouring today, so I'm just going to set the skin. I don't think I have a new... <gasps> I do. I have one new setting powder that I'm going to share with you guys, but I'm actually going to use it not as a setting powder, but I am going to use it to like give my under eyes a little brightening moment. <laughs> I've been really into that look again. I'm going to add a little bit of this powder from Yvette XO and Beauty Creations. Why do I drop everything? It comes with two highlighting shades, two um, different colors to set underneath the eyes, and then two bronzing shades. This is really pretty. I love Yvette XO. I've been following her for a few years. She's such a gorgeous girl, and she's such a hustler. She's such a businesswoman. She's a mom. She's amazing. I really look up to her. I am going to bronze next because I do have two new blushes and two new highlighters now that I remembered. So let's go in with Sunkissed and Bronze Babe. What is your favorite like show to watch with your significant other, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever? What do you guys like to watch? Kramer is definitely our favorite character. <laughs> He's so... Uh, He's different. Now for my blush, I placed an order to, I'm not sure if it's pronounced Mothin or Maven Beauty, which is Fashion Nova's uh, makeup brand. I have never tried anything from Fashion Nova, but I saw that their makeup gets a lot of hype on TikTok and I just really been curious. I remember, I think I got this entire like starter kit for like 80 bucks, which isn't too bad, I don't think. So I have two blush shades here. I have Crave and I have Orchid. I wanted to get a purple one because I don't own anything like this. And although I want to use this one, I'm gonna push myself to use this one so you guys can see it in action. They are super pigmented, so. I just kind of apply it it's like stamping motions and then if I want more I build it more but I'm rubbing on the back of my hand because I don't want to be covered in blush. So once the blush is done let's apply a little bit of highlight. So I have tried this one. I also got this one from Maven Beauty. Oh my gosh I can't open anything with these nails. <clears throat> just jammed my nail. So this one is really pretty. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, but I think it's only too a little like pinky. So we're gonna use the one from the Yvette XO palette. So let's take a little highlighting brush and this one is really pretty blessed. So I am going to tap that in. It seriously makes me so sad when I have to take my makeup off right after I am done because Usually I finish by like nine. I'm also going to take a little bit of this color. Um, color. I'm also going to take a little bit of this color. This is the highlighter Excess and Glows from Ofra. And I just really want a tiny, tiny bit here and here. Just to make it a little extra. That's pretty. I'm also going to use the Mauvin Basic Beat in the shade alpaca eyeshadow primer we're gonna use this i'm gonna create a soft glam look today because i honestly just feel like doing something soft and a little bit subtle on the eyes but with a little little pop i'm using this shade and this shade into the crease i'm gonna take a little bit of this setting shade the hella basic because i want something nice and bright and i'm not I'm not going to cut the crease, I'm just going to pack it on. I guess this is kind of like the purpose of a soft glam. You know, we'll see. Then I'm gonna line my eyes with a brown eyeliner. This is going to level up the soft glam. And this is in the shade, I think it's just brown. Yep, and it's really pretty. I'm gonna try this highly rated anti-gravity mascara by Milani. It's new, I just got it in the mail today. So I am honestly not a fan of these wands. They're just, I don't know, they don't do anything for my lashes, but let's see what this formula is about. And then for my lashes, I am going to use my own style in Fabulash. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle from this Ulta little pigment that I have. It's so pretty. 
Um, it's called Rose Gold Leaf, and I'm going to apply a little bit of lash glue onto the like beginning of the eyelid and then just tap it in. So for the lips, I do have two of the Mauve & Beauty lipsticks, and uh, I'm not really feeling them with this look. I feel like I need something a little more warm, and these are a little mauve-y. Um, I have the shade Snatched and Buena, which are these, and... They just don't really go with what I'm going for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this KKW Beauty Lip, Line, Lip Liner in Honey 3. And then we're going to fill it in with Knock on Wood from Dose of Colors. I was going to keep it matte, but I'm kind of feeling like a glossy nude. Let's do that. So I'm going to take Uncensored by Artist Couture. Mm, this lip gloss never fails. And of course, we get a set, the masterpiece. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last. Mm, this seriously smells so good. And you guys, this is the final look. This is my version of a soft glam look using some new makeup. So what is the tea? Did I like anything? Did I like everything? And yes and no, I did like everything. The eyeliner is definitely my favorite. It's such a pretty brown. Um, the lipsticks weren't new. The mascara, it's pretty decent actually. It did a pretty good job in making the lashes a little bit longer. Um, the only thing that I would have to say, it's like, all right, it's the Evetixo palette. I mean, it is really pretty, don't get me wrong. The highlighting shades and the bronzers are amazing, but these, I feel like if you're too heavy handed, it looks very cakey and I feel like I look very cakey underneath the eyes. I have to play with it again and maybe do a little lighter more of a lighter layer because it does look a little too cakey. But that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know what makeup I should review next, what I should play with, and uh, leave me video suggestions as well. That is everything. I love you. Have a great night. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.